All right. Highlight today. We had an interesting, volatile morning with something that's odd. What's odd? When you have a market that's volatile like the first hour was and uh, the price range, the value, we had, you don't see it in there, but you see it right here. This entire first hour, essentially, in the S&Ps had this consolidation range. It was 50. It was 20 points almost, 15 handles, but it was still several attempts to go higher, failed, higher, failed, higher, failed. And then right in here, I was adamant about nobody getting short because it was had a very likely chance to do this. I didn't even think it was going to come off in this area, but it did. So at some point, the more you see resistance, the less likely you're going to see it. And most people think the other way. So we had a nice head fake to help qualify an entry if you expected the breakout. A lot of people would be like, well, why can't I be long down there? Maybe you can. But if you're not, it's not the end of the world. You don't want to reach. You want to know where you're at. And you let this set up where it came off. And as soon as it got back through 70, we said that's the head fake coming to fruition. And a head fake is a pattern that a lot of people, when they look at patterns, it's too late after you see the pattern. You have to anticipate a damn pattern. Let me show you on the puke tool. We uh, the the VWAP, which is about where they were trying to get through 71 even, and can't couldn't do it, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Here's what a head fake looked like, where it, it's chopping sideways, comes down. This shakes out people who are weak and long. So there's less longs, less sellers, and it traps some shorts, more shorts, more buyers, more buyers, less sellers. It's easier to go up. Plus all the people that were playing the resistance around 71 because they've seen it work a bunch of times. Those are the ones that help facilitate more upside. And I said, as soon as we got through here at 72, 73, that there's a lot of blue skies above. There's been a lot of clearance to go up because of all the time that we spent in a volatile session trapped in a 10 or 15 point range. So if you magnify it a little bit, this is what this head fake in here. That's what this head fake down to go up in here. So this is when you zoom in on it, looks like this, where when we seen this big seller come in, that's what a red square is. And it gets above a big seller. It's look out above. And then. A red line is an iceberg, and how quickly he got filled showed an appetite for buying. So what else do you need? You got the head fake pattern that you can anticipate early. You got a big seller that can't get it to go down when it's right there. And you got the, the ID and the chance to understand how there's an appetite for buying because an iceberg seller gets filled right away. But you had to also understand this is the qualifier for a breakout. And so you have the breakout in mind, and then you work backwards from there. And that's how you read and manage your risk if you're not um, timing it correctly, but also managing your opportunity to get in if you are timing it correctly, because you're looking at the right stuff. You're looking at the chance that if it gets above 71, it could go. You got all these guys trying to sell it because they've seen how many times it worked. The more resistance works, the less it's going to work. Don't forget that. Do not forget that. And then um, the, the upside became the right side, and we just kept cruising higher with other qualifications that the bulls remained in control. Step one, a breakout potential. Step two, this could be a head fake. Step three, big seller, why can't we go down? Oh, iceberg appetite for buying. What makes you so special that you're going to buy it to get long and people are going to come in after you to buy it at higher prices so you could sell it for a profit? It's not buying that makes price go, go up. It's people trying to buy that makes it go up. But what makes you so special? You're going to buy it down here at 68 half and it's going to go to 78 half. You need to stick other people short. They're the buyers. You need less competition, less longs, and you need more stuck shorts. Stick them. Make them squeal. Make them swear.